on site at the 2023 Vuelta España, stage one and a wet, dark day here in Barcelona. It, it would have been a beautiful city circuit, but the rain started right about when the first teams hit the course late in the day, 6.30 p.m. And when the last teams finish, including Remco Evitable, Sudal Quickstep, it was dark and coming down hard. Well, the earlier conditions where it wasn't raining as bad favored Team DSN. Second team off of the day, they set the fastest time when they came over the line and they held the hot seat, the race lead throughout the day. And they're the stage winner with Lorenzo Malesi in the red leader's jersey, former under 23 rider, and now the red jersey at the end of stage one of the Volta España. They're packing up here, but the rain keeps coming down. It was a celebration day for DSM. Team Movistar nearly knocked them off the hot seat. They finished in the same time, 17 minutes, 30 seconds out there on this course of 14.8 kilometers in the wet conditions. Movistar had it worse. These teams were averaging 50 kilometers an hour. All the top teams, the top five teams, did 50 kilometers an hour. And let's talk about the top five. We talked about the top two. It was Team EF Education with Hugh Carthy, third spot. They were 17.36, six, uh, six seconds off of the top two teams. Then Sudal quick step with last year's Vuelta España winner, Remco Evenepoel, 17.36. And then FDJ, Groupama FDJ, 17.36 there in fifth spot. Those teams all did well, Great, racing 50 kilometers an hour. Team Jumbo Visma with Rolich, Primoz Rolich, three-time winner of the Vuelta España, two-time winner of the Tour de France, Jonas Vingago in the squad, Sepp Kussi American. They were around about 26 seconds off the leading team or about 26 seconds off Remco. But Remco and the GC guys will be thankful they made it through safely out there on this course. Remco, when I spoke with him here at the finish line, he was complaining not about the rain, but the fact that the organizer held it so late in the day and ended up being so dark out there at the rain clouds. They could have had it earlier on in the day, said Remco. But at least Remco, Sudal Quickstep came through okay because there were a lot of crashes out there. Uh, Jumbo Visma, they suffered a puncture there with Jonas Vingago, but it was worse for some teams. The team of Ineos with Garrett Thomas, Lawrence de Plus, his Mountain Domestique de Belgian, crashed when uh, Garrett Thomas, I think, overlapped wheels with him. He crashed and, in fact, didn't even finish the stage. DNF, a big hit for Team Ineos. Then we're going to look at the leader, Jake Alula, Eddie Dunbar, the Irish rider. He crashed, finished, but he would have been hurt. Team Alpha Cindy Kunick. They had a big crash and they had to wait for their rider because they take the fifth best rider in the eight man team over the line in a team time trial. And they had to wait for their rider to get off the ground and finish the stage so they could get the time of the fifth rider. And I saw him here at the finish. The race radio was coming out of the back of his jersey. He was ripped up. Other crashes out there on the day is too. Hard day of racing. Team time trials are always technical always difficult, let alone on the first stage of a Grand Tour where it requires super focus. A little bit later into a Grand Tour while well, the guys are already in their rhythm, we're having on the first day of a Grand Tour and rainy, wet conditions. Oh, what a tough day of racing out there. Renko didn't like it. He's upset with the organizer. DSM's going to be happy. They got the stage win. They got the red jersey. But most importantly, besides Ineos, the GC teams came through relatively unscathed. They wanted to get through safely through this stage, not lose too much time, but most importantly, keep their riders safe because we have three weeks ahead of us racing here around Spain. The 2023 Vuelta España kickstarted here in Barcelona, wet, rainy conditions, DSM on top, Lorenzo Malesi, red jersey.